So here's an example of an elastic collision. One object, the first object is traveling to the right, this one here, and so we call that a positive direction. And the other object, the second one, is traveling to the left, and we would call this a negative direction. Uh, if you think back when we did the types of forces notes, um, I mentioned up and to the right are positive, down and to the left are considered um, negative. So this would be, again, an elastic collision. So we have the momentum of object 1 plus the momentum of object 2 is going to be equal to the afterwards uh, momentum of object 1 plus object 2. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is to just plug in all your variables. Okay, You know the mass and the velocity of object number 1, 6 kilograms and 14 meters per second. You know the mass and velocity of object 2 before the collision, 8 kilograms and negative 4 meters per second. That negative is really important. And then on the other side of the equation, you know both the mass and the velocity of object 2 after the collision, 8 kilograms still, and 8 meters per second now to the right. You know the mass of object 1, it's still 6 kilograms, and what we're ultimately looking for here is the velocity of that object. So when you do all of your multiplication, we have 84 kilogram meters per second plus a negative 32 kilogram meters per second is equal to 6 kilograms times the velocity plus 64 kilogram meters per second. Combine our like uh, terms here, we have 52 kilogram meters per second on the left side. Now we're going to take this 64 and we're going to move it over to the other side. Because we're adding it here, we're going to subtract it from this side over here. And we get a negative 12 kilogram meters per second is equal to 6 kilograms times some velocity. Now we're multiplying by 6 kilograms, so we're going to divide each side by 6 kilograms. cancels that out, and we're left with negative 2 meters per second as our final velocity.